under the Volvo looking at uh, my bottom end. I'm taking off this uh, cap. These are the caps. These are the, the rod caps here. The, uh, the main crank caps are this whole bottom piece. It's, uh, it's a different setup than what I've seen before with other cars, but it does the same thing. It just holds the, the crank in place. Probably does a better job too. It'd be less or no warping. So I've loosened these already. Let's see what I get. It's one bolt. Okay. Oh, that is good. Uh -huh. Look at that. I am happy to see that. What I'm looking for is no scoring. And that looks really good. Oh, good. Let's uh, take this in the garage. So here we are. Here's our cap. This is the rod cap. And this is the bearing here. Bearing. Uh, I'm not going to take it out, but it's removable. You can replace these bearings. But we don't have to because this is in great shape. Look at that. That's that's beautiful. So this can go back together now, and I'm not worried about any of the the crank. This is a, a good example of of uh, how it uh, how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna go put this back in. They only go in one way, so uh, there's uh, you have to remember which way they come off. Luckily, this has one skinny side, one wide side, so I can easily tell. <sighs> so I went to Princess Auto yesterday to uh, replace these two things. They don't have the same type of uh, wrenches. They have ones like this, which is all the same size. This is two different sizes, 10 and 9 in this case. They gave me the wrong wrench. They gave me an 11 millimeter instead of a 10. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to go back. Shoot. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I can do that today. We'll see if I've got time. I want to uh, make a new tool for uh, taking apart the uh, snap rings. Maybe this will work. This might work right here. Here's a tool. This came with a toolbox I bought. We'll see if this works. Looks like I'm gonna have to make a snap ring tool. I have a modified one here. This is a modified pair of needle nose pliers. See, I've made it a little smaller and undercut it there. But, I broke this other side, so I've got to fix it. And how I do that is with the file. Actually, let's try that. A little cattywampus, but it might just work. It doesn't have to be pretty. As long as that gets in the hole. Yep, that gets in the hole. This is a good idea to have safety glasses on. I've moved my turbo into the vise. So I don't want it slipping around in that tray. Let's see. Oh, okay. I get a little tap. Come on. 
There we go. It's just that easy, folks. If that was easy. Okay. Now it's out of where it was. It's off. I have to pull the tur. I have to pull the turbo off now to get it out, which will involve the hammer again. So, I'm just going to leave this place like that for now. I'm going to take a couple of pictures so it's oriented properly, and then I can uh, put the, the new one in. Oh, well, I guess it's only or orients one way. There's a demarcation thing here, a little indent. And one in the turbo housing itself. Look at this. That's the oil that was in, in the turbo. It's thick carbon. Well, not carbony, I guess, but it's just thick. And it looks pretty good. I thought it was rubbing, but it, I guess it isn't. Or it wasn't. Okay. clean this up. I've pretty well got this clean. I sprayed it with carb cleaner and uh, got most of the gunk off of it. It's, uh, it's pretty much impossible to clean that out inside other than with some compressed air. as good as that's gonna get so now it's just a matter of putting the turbo back together and uh, part of doing that is getting that snap ring which is a real pain uh, getting it on getting it off the old one yeah, there we go. Um, well I guess I gotta clean this up I'll hit this on the, the wire wheel just to get the rust off. I don't need to fight with that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to Princess Auto today and exchange that wrench. We'll see what, uh, what the day turns out to be like. I'm really happy with the way that uh, crankshaft looks and the, the cabs look. That's uh, good to see. And I took off the, the furthest cap from the oil pump, which is typically the last uh, area to get oil. So, I need to clean up in there and uh, pop my turbos together, put it back together. I'm headed home to see the girls now. I didn't get a chance to get to uh, Princess Auto. I'll uh, try and get there tomorrow morning and, uh, and get that uh, that wrench. I can't believe that. I think I'm going to uh, instead of uh, working on the turbos. I think tomorrow uh, I'm going to work on cleaning up the the crankcase. So I'll get in there with uh, a brush and some compressed air and uh, clean that out as much as I can. It's already been sprayed with the uh, brake clean and an engine degreaser. So that hopefully will help loosen some of that stuff. So I'll get that together and I'll get the pan back on and from there, I'll uh, get at the turbos. I don't want to fix the turbo and have it sitting around on the bench. I'd rather it stay in its box until I'm ready to get it out, because I don't want to drop one. 
So that's what the plan is now. I've got to get online and order some rear bearings for this. This makes a crazy noise now when I'm driving along and it's the, the rear bearings. So I gotta get those replaced. It's not such a huge deal to do those. Off we go. Probably a bearing. Let's get out of here. 